Okay, hi guys. Uh, just got you some reminders here of how to do some column addition and subtraction, just in case you need a little reminder of the technique we use. Okay, so first one, I'm going to start with the uh, the addition. Okay, normal addition where we don't have to carry. I'm sure you can all do. So we're going to look on here just for carrying, just in case you've forgotten. Okay, so we've got 107 plus 45. First thing we obviously need to do is work from this way across. Obviously, as well, make sure all our numbers are in one box. We have to do 7 plus 5. Now, 7 plus 5 we know is 12, but we can't put 12 in our units column, which is 1, 10, and 2 units. So we put our 2 units in there, but we put our 1 up there just next to our 4 in the tens column. Okay. Then we have 0 plus 4, which is 4, but remember we've got our little one on the doorstep, so we add that as well to make it 5. And our last one, we have 1 plus 0, which is 1. So we've got our answer of 152. Okay, next I've got three different takeaway sums, subtraction sums here. Okay, because there's different things that can come on when we're doing these. Okay, so we're going to do this one first, which is 453, take away 315. Firstly, we have 3, take away 5. Okay, and we can't take away 5 from 3 because it's bigger. So what we have to do is we have to turn that into 4 tens rather than 5 and carry a 1 over. Okay, so now we have 13 take away 5, which is a subtraction we can do. Okay, so 13 take away 5 is 8. Okay, and then when we get on our next column, we have to remember it is now 4, not 1, uh, sorry, 5, it's 4. Okay, so 4 take away 1 is 3. And then last column, 4 take away 3, easy one, we have 1. So we have 1, 3, 8. So move on to this one here then now. We've got 453. Take away 355. Look at our first column. Again, we've got 3 take away 5, which we can't do. We need to do exactly the same. So we take a 10 from there, so we make that 4 tens rather than 5, and put it into our units column. Now we have 13 take away 5, which we've already done, so we know that's 8. Okay. Now we move on to the next column. We've got now 4 take away 5, but we know we can't do that. So what we have to do is do exactly the same again. Now we'll end in one from the hundreds column and put it in there. So now we have 14 tens. Okay. And obviously we took one out of a hundred, so instead of four hundreds, we've got three hundreds. Okay. So now 14 take away five, we know is nine. And then we have three take away three, which is zero. When we get our answer, which is 98. Last one, this is one that can be a little bit of a pain, okay, and might you struggle with. We have 206 take away 17. Looks easier, because we've only got 17 take away instead of these hundreds. But when we look at it in our first column, we've got 6 take away 7. Okay? Now we know we can't do that, because 7 is bigger than 6. But when we look here, we've got none that we can lend. Okay? So what we have to do is continue going along until we find a column we can lend from. So we've moved along, and we're here, at the hundreds column. We can lend one from here, so I'll take it to 1. But we can't move it over to there. Okay? Because 100 is not 10 units, it's 10 tens, okay? So now we've got 10 there, but we've still got our problem of six take away seven. So what we need to do is what we've been doing before, lend one from there and move it there. So we've got 16 take away seven. But remember, when you've lent one from here, that isn't one, it is 10. So because we've lent one, it becomes nine, okay? So you've got 16, take away 7, which becomes 9. Then in this column, we have 9, take away 1, which is 8. Okay, and then lastly, we have 1, take away nothing, which is 1. And our answer is 189. Hope that helps you out if you needed any help. Okay, 